Hello everyone. Welcome to Electronic Arjun YouTube channel. Today, we are going to see about resistor. Let's see, what is a resistor? A resistor is a passive electrical component with a primary function to limit the flow of electric current. The standard symbols for resistors are given below. Zigzag on the left side is the American standard. And the one on the right is the international standard by the IEC. To explain the definition more clearly, we use the example of water that flows through a tube. The flow of water is similar to the electrical current in an electrical circuit. If we create a resistance in the flow of water, the current will reduce. We can do this, for example, by making the tube more narrow at a certain place. A resistor is pretty much the same. The resistor has a higher resistance than the connecting leads and causes a reduced electrical current. We can see this in the water pipe that a pressure drop is created because of the narrow part in the middle. The pressure on the left is bigger than on the right. The resistor has a similar effect. Here a voltage drop is created. The relation between the electrical current voltage and resistance is described by Ohm's law. Mr. Ohm was a German scientist that discovered in 1827 that electrical resistance is equal to voltage divided over current. In this formula, Resistance is in ohms, voltage in volts, and current in amps. A simple circuit with a battery and resistor. Can explain this, the voltage source causes a current, which is limited by the resistor. The voltage source is 6 volts, and we want a current of 3 amps. According to Ohm's law, the resistance is equal to the voltage divided over current. 6 over 3 is equal to 2 ohms. An application of this simple network is a basic LED circuit. Suppose we want to light a red LED with a 9 volt battery. The LED has a specified maximum current of 30 milliamps. If we directly connect a battery, the LED might burn out instantly. The LED practically doesn't create resistance. So the current will get much higher than the 30 milliamps. To prevent this we can place a resistor at the positive lead between the battery and the LED. The resistor should have a resistance which is just high enough to reduce the flow of current to 30 milliamps using Ohm's law. Again we know that the resistance is equal to voltage divided over current or 9 volts divided over 0 0.03 amps is 300 ohms. If we now connect also the negative lead and create a circuit the LED emits a nice. There are a lot of different resistor types, all with their own applications, characteristics and construction. Fixed resistors have a constant resistance value and they are the most common type. When people talk about a resistor, they most probably mean a fixed resistor. Fixed resistors are available in axial and SMD packages. Variable resistors have an adjustable resistance value. Most variable resistors are adjusted by mechanical movement. When we are used as a variable voltage divider, they are called potentiometers. When they are used as variable resistance to control the current in the circuit, they are called rheostats. Digital potentiometers are controlled electronically instead of by mechanical action. And varying resistance dependent on a physical quantity, such as light temperature or voltage, they are often used as measurement devices. Carbon composition resistors are constructed with a mixture of a non-conducting material and fined carbon particles. The first band gives the first digit of the resistance value. The second band gives the second digit. The third band indicates a multiplication factor. And the fourth band gives away the tolerance of the resistor. You can try to memorize the meaning of each band and color. You can even find value using automatic calculator in online.
we see that the first red band has a value of 2. The second blue is the value of 6. The third band is green, which means a multiplication factor of 100k. The golden fourth band means 5% tolerance. So we know that the resistor has a value of 2.6 mega ohms with the tolerance of 5%. Thank you for watching.